General Martin Ngatia, thank you very much once again for another session. Now, we are in another situation in Kenya where the biggest issue that has been going around is the poisonous mercury sugar scandal. What is your comment about this scandal? Thank you very much. It is sad. It is a pity for the Kenyan people, for the people of this oppressed nation of Kenya. As I have said again and again, the people of this country must wake up and listen to the Kenya Red Alliance because we are the only people who sympathize with this country. We are the only people who have seen the oppression of our people in this nation. It, after 34 years of fake independence granted by our colonial masters, England, the UK, or Great Britain, the people of this country have suffered so much. Corruption, scandals after scandals. Now it has reached highest point of corruption in this country where they are poisoning the people, the Wananchi of this nation. They are poisoning small children. The population, young people, babies in this country, everybody in our living in that country is being poisoned by Uhuru Kenyatta, a failed, a family that has failed Kenya miserably since his father John Mokenyatta took over. We have preached again and again to the Kenyan people, telling them this family is very corrupt and they, it must be removed from power. Look here, but the sugar poisoning is being done or the whole business comprises state house Uhuru, his family, Mohoho, Mama Gina, and his accomplices Asian gangsters in this country. Remember from the Anglo leasing. Sugar. Scado. Fertilizer scado. Rogging trees in this country. Sugar now poisoning everything. Thiefing our coffee. Thiefing everything in this country. And in, yeah, that means any corruption done in this country must involve a nation. It is a pity because the elite in this country has betrayed. How comes in every corruption in this country, a nation must be there? From Kamrechi Patini, family Melali that lands Kenyatta Empire, family line, plus other foreign agents in this country. They are now poisoning the Kenyan people. It is sad. It is a pity that Kenyan people cannot rise up and remove this government. And to make the matter worse, we, today we don't have an opposition party. Because Naira Odinga, which was people's voice and the hope, has surrendered and joined these corrupt sugar ballons and the drug balance in this country. Remember these Asians who are selling shit, poison to our people, were brought there by the British from India to come and build railway line from Mombasa to Kisumu or to East Lake region, to East Africa, Uganda, Kampala, Entebbe, Dar es Salaam. Mapoya Asia and Asia, and remember, let me tell the young generation, 
the history of this country. When Britain was ruling this country, HS were not even allowed to own farms. Walikuwa wamekubali watu kuweka dukawala. Maduka, maduka. When black people got independent because they are cheap, it's a going and patriotic. They allowed the HS to control them, to think for them, simply because they fear anything white. They fear white supremacy. They fear anybody white. Then Asians think for them. That's why the Asians control this country. Arabs control this country. Whites control. The imperialism controls this country. So now they are poisoning sugar. Believe me. Our parliament is a failure because we they should pass hanging act. All this corruption should be condemned. Not only condemned, they must pass laws, capital punishment, though criminals. Because they are doing a quite dirty job of killing Kenyans. Even putting this country is sick. Children born in this country are zombies. Because not only sugar, which is poisoned, everything sold in that country from fertilizer, the medicine we take, the machines we buy from abroad. And then we are not given anything supplied to military from the jets. Fight, jet fighters are fake, are second hard, junks come to medical. All our hospitals have been pumped with the criminals working there as helping, fascinating our children. Today's technology is dangerous. Children are fascinated in the 40 after 10, 20 years, you hear cancer in this country. It's very high. Diabetes is everywhere. People are born sick. Mothers are dying at our hospitals in great numbers. And these Indian cartels, criminals, controlling our economy, are siding with doctors from all our institutions, that is hospitals, to send all people with the money to India as if India is where God lives. To go and make money, exploiting our people. Uh, Mr. Ngatia, now when you look at the sugar crisis, it has all been discussed in the media, you have also discussed it here. Now, what is the solution to this corruption within the sugar industry? What is the solution that KRA is offering? Thank you very much. As I have said again and again, Kenya Red Alliance is a revolutionary party. Ideologically, we are socialists. We believe that it means we believe in nationalization because we shall not allow individuals, foreigners like these Asians, cartels, to cooperate with the local bourgeois and the international bourgeois to come to Kenya <coughs> and exploit our people. Believe me, you must wake up if you are educated in Kenya. We know Kenya has very highly educated people but that does not matter because if you look we have in Kenya like Henry Rotich the man who is learning treasury is a bloody Harvard educated the most useless and the corrupt person Jorogi Yale University the best minds but what has they done for Kenya Nothing. Corruption. Idiots when they join there because they are already bought. That's why we are saying only Kenya Red Alliance, which is ideologically. And when we talk of that, listen, this country, we live in Sweden. This country is advanced, developed by a socialist party called 
uh, Social Democratic Party, which was started or established in the 18th century. It has built this country. It has built this nation to a welfare state where nobody starves. The parliament comprises of very few people. Four of them, they make the best car in the world. And it's heavy. Vehicles like Scania. You have seen Scania sales like hot cake. Zahab Scania. Heavy duty rollers, trucks all over the world. So gentlemen, a bad on Lai Laudinga, whom you put all your hope to him, but he has, after sacrificing laws, children, Kenyans, he has joined them. Today he's a thief. He is sitting and sleeping with the enemy. Killers, murderers. Corruption in election rigging. So, gentlemen, our so our uh, what we shall solve our countries sugar problem, land problem, everything in this country is through radical changes. That is nationalization. Nationalization means the state, everything, air, sea, water, land belongs to the state. What is the state? The state is Kenya people. So we don't believe in selling land. We believe if when we take power, Kenyans will live free in their country. If you want land, we give you land. Today I'm not going to cover everything. I shall go short and explain to you the ideology of Kenya Red Alliance. And that's why we are different from Bojua. We are not right to wins. We are diehards, ready to die for socialism and the change in this country. Our aim is to make Kenya a better place to live, a paradise on earth. Because the people of this country has suffered. All what we are talking is corruption is suffering of the Kenyan people. Corruption after corruption. Now, how does nationalization solve the sugar crisis. It will do, do away with the chaos. There will be nobody will be allowed to uh, to import sugar. Nobody will be allowed to mill maize and sell to people. Why? We shall control the government. Will, the people power will be given to the people. And what we mean, power will be given to people. The Kenya workers, society. People will be, we shall form cooperative societies that there will never be exploitation. We shall give back Kenyans what God. Or we shall work according to what God wants people to work. We believe in three things. A human being must be respected. Men or men Every, are equal, all human beings are equal. So we shall make every Kenya, nobody sleeps hungry in that country. Be they which color, race, children, tribes, food, housing, everybody must let have a house of his or her own. Education will be for everybody, class. Distinction or class system will be abolished. We, it has been done before these guys, the Western world, destroyed the Libya. Libya was also almost paradise on earth. Even the white people here, we hear all of them were working there. But they destroyed that country. Today, Libya, oil is occupied. And the Kenya now we have found oil. That's why we want a Good government to take care of Kenya. If you stand up as one man and a woman, we shall liberate ourselves from the yokes of black oppressors and foreign imperialism domination.